With the fourth pick in the 2016 NBA TV mock draft, the Phoenix Suns select Marquise Chris from Washington. The Minnesota Timberwolves are on the clock. So the long Husky freshman will go number four. My question is, why the meteoric rise for Marquise Chris? Well, this is a futures play uh, to be sure, but uh, it, it's amazing to me having watched the kid all season long. Not only the fact that he left school was a surprise to me, I figured, well, he could sneak into the first round. He has really risen fast on the base, uh, basis of his size. You're talking about 6'10", 230, jumps out of the gym. Played very well, Vince, late in the season, particularly in the Pac-12 tournament. Had 19 points against an Oregon team that got a number one seed, went to the Elite Eight. Um, fouled out 15 times, so I know that there's a six foul rule in the NBA. Maybe he can stay around a little bit longer, but he is a ways away, I think, from having a real impact uh, on a professional game. Yeah, to Seth's point, for Phoenix, you're betting on the big Poe, and that's potential, which you know applies to a lot of these players in, in the front end of the draft. But Marquise Chris, okay, he's an extremely gifted athlete. He's explosive. He can run the floor, he has great hands, and he's a highlight reel waiting to happen. You know, but also, he's not just a freak athlete. He can shoot the basketball. He shot the ball about 35% in college uh, from the three-point line. He also has the ability to put the ball on the floor. So, uh, again, if you're relying on him right away, if you're the Phoenix Suns, it's a no-go, but you're betting on the future. Yeah, David, I'm looking at this, though, and help me out. Risk-reward at four in the draft? Sure. Sure. Really? Okay. It's a futures draft. Everything is a futures draft after one and two. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> even one and two are a futures draft. Look, the guy, he has a 38-inch vertical leap. He shot the three a lot better in the second half of the season. He's a better athlete than some of the other power forward prospects that you hear about, like Ellenson and Davis and some of those guys. He's just a better athlete than they are. And so if you're Phoenix and you're going, you're at the bottom of the Western Conference right now, you're looking at trying to amass young talent to go with some of the guards that you have, it's probably worth a shot to take this guy. I mean, you could certainly, you, you know, that's not a team that would take Chris Dunn, for example. They've already got a bunch of guards. So unless you think Dunn's better than all of them, I mean, maybe you would. But, but if you're only going to look at that position front court, this makes some sense.